Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see how to fix Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 cannot pair Android and iPhone. So without wasting your time, let's get started. So the step one is check compatibility. So before we dive into the troubleshootings, let's ensure that your device are compatible with Samsung Galaxy Watch 7. Okay, so firstly, we will talk about iPhone users. So there is a no application found in our app store that will connect with Samsung Galaxy Watch 7. It means that the iPhone users are not able to connect your Watch 7 with your iPhone. You can simply wear it, it like a normal watch, but you cannot use it as much. Okay, and also you will not open its all functions. Okay, so the Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 are compatible with the Android versions mobile only. Okay, so in which mobile phones have a Android OS, they can easily connect it with a Samsung Galaxy Watch 7, but not a iPhone users. So in future, maybe a, any update are available that your Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 will connect with iPhone, but right out, right now, there is a no feature that you can use your iPhone with a Samsung Galaxy Watch 7. Okay, so now we discuss for Android users. So the Galaxy Watch 7 pair best with Samsung phones, okay? But you can easily connect it with uh, another device, but you can not use this as much. Like if you ha have not a Samsung phone and you have uh, another brand phone like Realme, Oppo, Vivo and many more. So you can simply use it, but you cannot use its health features and many advanced features. like. When you open Samsung Health, you will see not support. You need a Samsung phone to use, okay? And you are not measure your BP, ECG, and many more. Also, the Android version 5.0 or higher versions Android are allowed to connect with Samsung Watch 7, okay? So be ensure that your device have a higher version above from Android 5.0, okay? So. The step two is restart your device or a watch. So a simple restart can often fix connectivity issues. So you can simply restart your smartphone by simple press and hold the power and the bottom key together until you see a Samsung logo on the screen. Okay. So once you see a Samsung logo on the screen, it will take two to three minutes to reset your watch. Sorry, restart your watch. Okay. So sometimes a simple restart fix many software glitches issues, bugs and many more. Also, you can do this same thing with your smartphone. Okay. Step three is enable Bluetooth. So make sure the Bluetooth is turns on on both your smartphone and the watch. Okay. You will when you simply scroll down, you will see here a Bluetooth. Also, when you first time turn on your watch, so the Bluetooth will automatically turns on and you will not see this type of display. You will see a connection display. Then you will see on a display a message that you can simply enable a Bluetooth in or your nearby device and then they will ask for download a VR app on your smartphone. So once you download a VR app, you will see on a home screen a Samsung logo. Okay, I will show you. You will see a display like this where you will see a paired devices a Samsung Galaxy Watch 7. Right now my device is already paired. That's why I am showing this and when I tap on it, it will simply redirect me to a home page. Okay. But if you are a new user, when you tap on it, it will go to the steps where you can set up it. Okay. Step four, update softwares. So sometimes outdated softwares can lead to pair issue. So ensure both the devices are updated. So to ensure you can simple turns on simple go to settings on your watch and then here you can simple go to software update and then click on download and install where you will find our latest version. So if you find here a any new version available, you can simple download it by simple pressing a download button. Okay. And if your device like my watch is updated, so you can simply go back and check that uh, software update in your smartphone. Okay. So the step five is simple uninstall and reinstall the Galaxy variable app. So sometimes issue with the Galaxy variable app can prevent pairing. So you can simply uninstall the app. So here is a variable app. 
so you can simply uninstall the wearable app by simple long press on it until you find a uninstall icon okay then after when you simply uninstall it you can simply open a play store and then here you can simply type samsung wear okay and you can simply download it and then you can again connect it okay so after that you will find that your issue will be resolved so if not so it's time to do a simple reset network setting so if pairing issue persists resetting your network can might help so for android you can simply go to settings in many devices have a uh, like in different devices the steps are different so you can simply watch any video or a youtube on a youtube that how we can reset our network so i am using realme and our version is like 13 so in this version maybe the steps are different okay so you can simply see watch on a youtube video on how to reset okay so the final step is factory reset the watch so at last resort consider performing a factory reset on your samsung galaxy watch 7 this will erase all data so make sure to back up anything important first okay so to reset you can simply open settings and then go to general and then here you can simply go to reset here you can simply firstly be sure to reset all mobile plans okay after that you can simply click on next and then they will ask for backup your important data and then when you simply tap on reset it will erase your all data and reset your watch and then you can simply repair it again so if you find any problem in pairing or setting a watch first time then you can simply watch a video on our youtube channel that how we can set up samsung galaxy watch 7 okay so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorial goodbye